Uh, I, was, uh, I was supposed to go study religion and philosophy at a, a little school in North Carolina. And about two weeks before I was supposed to leave, found out my mother was terminally ill. Um, my father had died while I was in high school and um, didn't think I could be 3,000 miles away. So uh, made a last minute change of plans, enrolled at the local junior college where they did not have a religion and philosophy major. So um, I signed up for journalism and uh, the woman who ran the department, um, she and her husband owned a tiny little weekly called the Point Reyes Light, uh, Dave and Kathy Mitchell. And they had just uh, that previous year won the investigative Pulitzer uh, for a series they did on a cult in Northern California called Synanon. So, um, there were worse places to start. Right? Um, I also happened to be, while well, I was in Galveston, covering Johnson Space Center when Columbia fell out of the sky. And um, uh, that was an important story for, for the obvious reasons, but personally an important story for a lot of reasons. I remember this moment, at, you know, and the president's there, and half of Washington's there, and all of JSC is there, and, uh, and I remember partway through the ceremony, it was, just, it was just the most tragic thing you could imagine, especially if you live there and understand how much that really operates like, like a family. And um, I, I remember standing there with my notebook and, and looking over at the young lady uh, near me who was from the Orlando Sentinel, a and we were both you could just see we're both thinking the same thing. We're both trying not to cry and still trying to do our job at the same time. And, and part of you is thinking, this is the biggest story I'm going to ever cover. Don't screw it up. <laughs> you know? But it, it was such a, um, an emotional event to be right in, in the middle of. That was uh, certainly a very formative experience. And here, uh, you know, at the Journal Record, certainly kind of the the rise and fall of Chesapeake uh, was was a big deal, and uh, some happier things, you know, the creation of the Devon Tower, and uh, a lot of things we saw over the 15 years there. You know, I've been lucky that I've had a supportive family that puts up with the weird hours and and all the crazy things you have to do when you work in a newsroom. Um, Mary Malone and Jim Stasiowski during my time at uh, the Journal Record were certainly. Uh, very supportive, very helpful, learned a lot from them. Uh, Heber Taylor in Galveston uh, was a big influence. And uh, uh, Scott Kersner and Steve Pizzo out in California were um, uh, the guys who really were willing to take a chance on a rookie and, and uh, got it started out there. So uh, all of them played big roles.